I just want to wish you a happy Mother's Day. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. And once again, I'm sorry about the background noise. Bye. So guys, are we ready to go? I'm ready. Me too. All right. Let's go. Let's go. I don't want to get out of bed. But I promised myself I'd look for help before anyone does it for me. Alright, I'm just going to do this. And let's get started with my day. What the? Oh my god, I can't see. There. Notes. It's my thoughts. That there. A book that I was waiting. About how to get help. <laughs> I got really into this last night, didn't I? I finished reading it. Is the scarf still there? Oh, yeah. I come in. It's kind of weird. Oh! What, feel it? You're up. I'm up. Why wouldn't I be? You're usually in bed when I come to visit, and you're really sad. Yeah, but today to look for help. And plus, I realized I did really need help. Like, I had a dream that... She told me I need to move on, but she'll be watching over me. That's what she said, at least. Well, Amber was right after all. Shut up, Sage. It's okay. You can say her name. I moved on. And what are you guys going to visit me anyways for? We thought uh, we can visit to make you feel a little better. Not be so alone, but I guess you're not that sad anymore. Yeah, because we've been worried sick about you lately. And we decided to stop by and come and visit today. Oh, did you say happy Mother's Day to your mom? Yeah, I did. Last night. Uh, I was a little early. It's because I was looking for help today. Um, so, I decided um, to, you know... Say it. Just say it early, you know. Well, we're so glad you're happy. I guess you don't need us. Come on, guys. Let's go. It was a waste of time. Okay. No! Wait! Huh? Yeah. No, you guys can stay. It was very thoughtful of you. Um, maybe tonight we'll go out as a group. Do you mind? If not, um, I could just stay here looking for help again. But yeah, if you don't want to, that's all right. 
Are you kidding me? Of course we do, right guys? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, perfect. Um see you tonight, I guess. See you tonight. See you tonight, sis. See you tonight, um, scatter. So happy. I'm so relieved. Ah, I'm so relieved. I'm finally feeling happy again. I never felt this happier before in my life. When my phone said me, anyways, cut eh, off air. I apologize for the background noise. Get off. Get off. Need to call someone. Allison. <laughs> Hello? Skinner. Oh my god. Skinner, is this you? You're so happy. Yeah. It's me, and I was wondering if you wanted to go out with me, my sister, and Felix, and Sage. We're going out of the group. They invited me, and I was looking for help through the book that you recommended to me when I was sad. And it actually kind of worked, and, and I was wondering... If you could, um, if you would come with us, I mean, you helped me, even though I was desperate. And, but, but what, did you have a dream about number telling you that you need to move on? Yeah. How did you know? How did you know about the dream? Um, um, well, I looked for you, your bedroom, wig, and in cameras. You? It in cameras in my room? You're sneaky. Well, anyway, uh, get ready if you want to come with us. Of course, I left you. See you tonight. See you tonight. Woo! Gotta get ready. Oh. <laughs> oh my dog, she's finally happy. I mean, so what happened for the first time? Um. Um, Allison? Oh, um, hi, Sydney. Um, what's wrong? Well, um, I don't really want to talk about it. What do you mean you don't want to talk about it? Well, it's just that I don't want to talk about what happened. I don't want to make your day sad because I know Skeet is really happy and I'm happy too. I mean, I'm happy for her, but I just don't want to talk about it. I'll leave you alone. Oh, and by the way, you should be getting ready for tonight. Wait, um, Sydney? Yeah? Ow? Yeah? We could talk. I mean, I have time. It's like I don't have any.
it's it's because well I heard my friend talking yeah my back you know Claire my um the new kid mm -hmm. yeah Claire the one who doesn't talk yeah the one who doesn't talk much well um I had a friend Courtney to talk with her behind my back and she been saying horrible things and it feels like I don't belong here anymore. Anyway, um, how leave you alone? Sydney, wait! What? What? Can't you just leave me alone? Sydney, wait! Sydney! Sydney! God damn it, she locked it. <sighs> Poor Sydney. Claire. Anyway, I should be getting ready. In Sydney's room. I just want to talk. I don't want to hurt you. Sydney, you've been there for almost an hour since you got back. Have you? No. No, I haven't eaten. I'm not hungry. Leave me alone and I don't want to talk right now. Sydney, please just for me in. No. Please. No. Fine. I'll go on myself then. I said no. I locked the door. Leave me alone. Do you know another passcode? Crap. I'm turning the passcode. Too late. Fine, you can't come in. So, you told me the story. And now you cry. You've been crying for a half an hour. What's bothering you? And you haven't eaten a... You haven't eat. Yeah, no, because I'm not hungry. Hmm. You've been doing this for months. Now I'm saying that you're not hungry. Not even a snack. What's wrong? Nothing is wrong with me. You're insane. Sydney, please. Just tell me. Don't touch that. What's the, the thing you read? 